counterattack. Gonna catch up to that later. Hopefully they don't miss that. As for the left hand side, Mix is moving his infantry up. Sees a few guys hiding it in the building. Grenades back and forth, killing each other. And one guy healing in a trench. Now, I've not seen much attacking from Screaming Eagle. Uh, kind of a shame. Lausia self destructs a machine gun. Hetzer approaches head on first. Uh, here we go, we've got some sort of assault from Screaming Eagle. Finally! Only four infantry though. Um, I'm guessing he's being very conservative. I don't know what he's saving for, but we'll probably see something come out later. He's got an artillery firing and uh, takes a few guys out. And it makes the feeling a little light on forces again, but he's obviously saving up for something. Uh, I can expect maybe later on they both come out with some sort of heavy tanks, although the USA do not have much heavy tank capability. Uh, like the Super Pershing, which is a special unit. Uh, in the middle we do have this crocodile tank sitting in the middle, already being fired at. Crew's been slightly injured. All these infantry... Ooh, sorry for the lag, this game is live so I can't really do much about that. But the crocodile starts burning everyone down. Wonderful visuals. Uh, part of the building crumbles as well. And uh, okay, this crocodile did fairly well. It needs to get out of there. The Pack 40 is still firing on it. Gonna keep reversing exactly how you need to reverse a tank. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't, no, don't stop. Keep going, the packs can fire through buildings. Uh, there we go, track damaged. Uh, that's not gonna be moving, but uh, fortunately, he's stopped by Cafe Advance Guard and can have a cappuccino. Um, but now his tank's completely destroyed and uh, that's not gonna be seen on the battlefield again for that is special. We have a Nash Horn providing anti-tank support and a Neville Werfer on the right. Uh, good to get some artillery support for there, gets rid of some of the machine gunners behind. Uh, always good to have some sort of artillery, especially if you need to be offensive. Uh, you bomb and then you run in. Eagle is making progress on this side. He's got infantry moved up into position in the barn. Uh, he's got very little cover outside of there though. He's now being supported by two half tracks, one full of infantry. These are going to unload and start gunning down all the infantry in this area. The German forces need uh, more stuff really. There's very little around here. If you check the map on the top left, you can just see the green dots and there's so little. Uh, not only on this side, but in the center as well. So these guys pour out, uh, <laughs> cows mooing away, stupid cows, and uh, this half track, okay one got destroyed, the other didn't, and there's Nebelworth for firing in the back, hitting a lot of dirt, uh, takes a few shots into the building, but that Nebelworth actually destroyed itself more than the enemy, uh, good job, best Nebelworth in the world, uh, there we go, I did it, A. Hey. Um, that Nebelwerfer is just free loot now, straight for the USA forces. Uh, not sure if they've noticed it's been decrewed by itself. It's not something I would usually pick up on. On this right hand side we have some sneaky infantry from Coty. And uh, a hell of a lot of infantry moving into the centre from Mithras. Some grenades go over the tank. Uh, those guys... Uh, sorry for the lag again. Uh, completely explode with their helmets flying off into the air but uh, the German forces just holding on to that area for now a little bit overexposed they throw a grenade away that just got thrown at them kinda lucky there that usually doesn't happen um, with infantry hiding behind walls uh, let's remember to keep an eye on the scores in the top right corner currently the USA have 42 points and the Germans had 18. Now, obviously, I can't see what is going on on the USA side, but if you look at the map in, you know, the green dots, uh, forces are kind of weak both on the left and right side. We've got an assault in the middle going on now, but this Neverwerfer has been <laughs> initiated self-destruct. Picks off the two guys that were going to pick, uh, pick it back up again, and Laubox runs into the bushes. Going to be using that guy to spot for later on. Uh, 
Not sure if Migsy will have noticed that there's a guy there. Uh, maybe one of the soldiers will run by it and see him later on and shoot him. Neville Verfa shots on the right hand side trying to get these machine gunners out of their goddamn way. But the shots fall short uh, and the Panzer IV in the background is going to lead a charge by itself. Not a good idea to go unsupported into enemy territory. If you look at the the visibility, the highlighted zone where the Panzer can see, he's missing anyone behind him. There could be guys in the bushes behind the walls. Pretty sure that Panzer IV is going to get hit by an AT grenade. Meanwhile, the zone's still neutral. No one's controlling it. People need to run in there and capture it. Over in the middle, it looks like we've got an assault going on. Uh, a little tankette is on the field, ready to pulverize enemy infantry, supported by two squads, by the looks of things, going down the main road. Uh, the squads are splitting up now, so one's going down the main road, and the other is taking the left flank. Uh, and the tank is leading the charge, which is... Okay, it's okay for tanks to do that. But be aware, in this situation, there's a few corners and bushes that these infantry guys can be hiding in. And a little AT grenade will destroy that tank and any infantry around it. That's not going to phase dead, though. He's going to run straight in there with his tank and start getting those people down. Uh, he needs to be aware of the left-hand corner. There is a guy there. It could end very badly. And it does. Everything is damaged. Uh, the crew get out and instantly shot. In fact, only one guy got out. Only one guy survived that AT grenade. And here's the Panzer IV, which got destroyed. Uh, no surprise there. Naval worth of shots happening to hit one guy behind a sandbag. I'm not sure if there was anyone else there. Um, from our perspective, we can't see that, of course. Since the fog of war is active. Uh, these guys crawling, trying to get into like the little ridge on the left absolutely no way they can avoid that M8 um, which is picking them off slowly that entire squad goes down <clears throat> and on the left we've got another assault happening Eagle actually has the zone um, which is fairly surprising since all game long he's had trouble with um, having any units to take them <laughs> it's uh, and uh, um, by the way, this is a King Tiger. It's got a long finger of doom. It's just going to point at something and say, You're there! Die! And that it does. A machine gun goes down. And, um... Oh, this is interesting. We've got a, an AT gun in the wrecked... Well, in the gap of the wrecked building. Uh, hiding in plain sight. The King Tiger spots it uh, and destroys it. Yeah, it's pretty much destroyed now. But uh, the tank gets detracked. And uh, they need to repair that track. The guy gets out and is going to repair it now. Uh, Eagle actually has another heavy, heavy AT gun. Um, and a very forward artillery piece. Strange place for an artillery gun. But uh, these guys are hopping out the tank and already dying. Engine damage. Another guy gets out to repair. And now we've got artillery. A radio operator is called in artillery. The smoke's a little off though, it's not going to destroy the tank at all, it might get the guy in front. Uh, no, he's fine, but the track is damaged once again. I'm not sure if he repaired it in time, it looked like he got up um, as if to say his job was done, but no, that's it's destroyed. King Tiger now slowly turning around to get a shot on the guys in the bush in the pond. Uh, whips a shot. A little bit too high, could have ended really badly if it went any higher. Would have hit Dead's tank. Um, some infantry battling going on this right hand side, completely overwhelming the German forces though. Never worth a shot coming down to support. Uh, looks like they got a load of good shots off. Um, honestly can't tell because of the fog of war once again. Uh, at some point this rear zone was captured. Um, German forces now recapturing it. The rear points are usually not heavily defended. Uh, sorry, I was just checking up on the cows. It seems like some of them have escaped, though. Uh, this 222 
totally out of position. An A gun is sufficient enough to destroy light armor. Uh, but yeah, once again we're seeing lack of infantry support the vehicle movement. Now we have a Calliope, or what I believe to be a Calliope, completely missing that King Tiger. None of the shots hit. Although, once again, the tank crew died. Many, many tank crews for this King Tiger. Uh, possibly like the third entire crew. <laughs> Dead moving in now with a whole squad of infantry and a tank closely supported. Okay, this is a bit too close. If, if that tank were to get hit by an AT gun, um, it would blow up all the infantry. It gets a shot off on the half track. Half track unloads its cargo and the infantry starts splitting up into different directions. Meanwhile, a dead's infantry just gets gunned down in the middle, no cover for them. As he drives straight for the building, I think he's got eyes on a guy to the left and he just wants to get him ran over. Yeah, there he is. Although, unfortunately, he doesn't get him. Not in time for the AT grenade to be thrown and that guy sacrifices himself. The crew get out and begin shooting, but it, he dies like all the other soldiers there. No troops. I was like, Laos is going in for a head-on assault against this Nebelwerfer. Uh, Nebelwerfer, close range shot, destroys all those guys, or at least most of them. Uh, it looks like still a few moving. But they get good now. One does not simply walk up to the Nebelwerfer. No. That was a mistake. Over on the left hand side, this King Tiger's still got its track uh, broken, but a half track has come up to support and get rid of all these infantry. It's a little bit weird seeing a half track support a King Tiger. Usually the King Tiger is uh, the beast on the field. Uh, it's a little bit disabled at the moment. Destroy some guys hiding in a bush to the left. It seems to have that side pretty much covered. Um, half track moving up, half track moving down, half track... <laughs> yeah, good job, Dad. Good job, that was uh, totally worth it, I think. Um, half tracks usually require eight or more AT grenades and uh, you have to be standing right next to it to destroy the thing. Um, there's just no other way to take out a half track more effectively. Um, exactly why I kind of like seeing dead. He's not at all a bad player. Don't. He's just. He's just a. Uh, just. Just trust me on this one. He's not actually a bad player. <laughs> uh, we've got a second half track now moving up. Uh, Neville for shots, firing on the half track, ejecting some of the crew out of it. Guys pouring out. This looks lovely. Half-Track continuing on. It has a mission to do. It's seeing it all the way through. Uh, dead in response to seeing all these Half-Tracks. Gets two Half-Tracks of his own. He's going to leave one to defend whilst the other assaults. Combating itself through the lag. Track damage so all the crew get out and begin to blob up. Blobbing up is a great tactic. Um, when you have an AT gun looking right at you and a load of infantry. Uh, they get out, they throw three AT grenades, and, uh, okay, a half-track and eight guys for an AT gun. Questionable at most, I'd say. Uh, I'm still going to go with Dead isn't a bad player. He's probably just a little bit distracted right now. Um, not sure what. I've got a weird out-of-position M8 trying to get some weird flank going off, but, uh, that does get its hull pierced by this pack, which is just spawned. <clears throat> Always remember that if you're going to attack your enemy's spawn or right in front of their spawn, they can spawn exactly what they need at that time, so long as they have the money. And uh, this game is not far from ending. The Americans have four points to three. There's only going to be a few more seconds on the clock and they need to run into a zone. Uh, that is, the German forces need to run into a zone and make it neutral. And I don't think that's going to happen in this time. This Sherman and M20 delaying any approaching forces. Only this squad is left and they get gunned down. So let's congratulate our winners, which is Lauscher, Eagle and Mithras. 
Uh, it certainly wasn't completely one-sided. Everyone did something.